sports fans, ASMR sports. He actually had started this video, and that's why you see some cards out before you, but this is a card sorting video, and I had the camera kind of um, oriented the opposite way of I have it now, as I have it now, so like the, um, anyways, the side that the lens was on was the opposite of what it is now, and it was, I don't know, it was driving me bonkers about three minutes in, so I decided to um, switch it around and start anew, so um, today I'm sorting some baseball cards by team. These are cards that are hits, so they're like colored cards, um, autos, memorabilia, um, there might be some, you know, just some like chrome rookies, kind of like, you know, decent rookies of better players, and um, these kinds of cards, when I pull them, I just sort of put them in a, in a box, and, um, you know, when I want to find one of the cards in there, I have to go through all those cards, and it can be uh, laborious, so I'm sorting these by team, and then they'll go into, you know, a box that's sorted by team, and I can find things uh, a bit more easily. I do have basketball and um, football and probably hockey cards in here, too. But I'm not going to be sorting those right now. I might uh, maybe do another video sorting those cards. All right, Alec Manoa. That's a red number to ten. There's some pretty cool cards in here. I kind of just put stuff in here and like forget about it. Um, but Alec Manoa had a really nice season again for the Blue Jays. And that's a really low number to 2020 pro debut minor league card for him, so pretty sweet. Jorge Mateo, auto pulled out of an Optic Choice box that I opened, I think on a video. Um, so Padres, pretty sure he's not playing the Padres right now, I don't know if he's injured or what, because he's a shortstop, so like only second base, okay. This is number 99. It's a white mojo parallel. Got some hockey cards. Nothing crazy there. This is kind of a decent one. Oswaldo Cabrera, you know, got called up by the Yankees towards the end of the season. Made a real pretty, you know, solid splash offensively and, you know, kind of dwindled and then has done a few things, I think, in the playoffs, but the Yankees really, as a team, have not done anything. So, all right, that's just like a, a base flagship rookie. Noah Syndergaard playing right now with the uh, the uh, Phillies, as I am pitching. In relief earlier tonight, the Phillies won um, their third game of the series, so one more, and they will clinch the World Series berth. So that's pretty exciting um, for Phillies fans. I guess I'll put him with the Phillies then. Huh? Um, right there. Another really nice, you know, numbered Alec Manoa. This one's from 2019, I believe. Yeah, 2019 um, Panini Elite Extra Edition. So off he goes to the Blue Jays. Oh, you didn't say the first one because I had, uh, started restarted the video, but this is a low numbered. This is a red pro debut, number to 10 of Alec Benoist. That's a really nice card of his. And he's, you know, doing really well. He's had some couple of back-to-back -back really solid seasons. Khalil Watson, just a paper base card, but one of the better, if not one of the best guys in his draft class, or in, the, in anyways, in the class of prospects that are first Bowman's in this product, which is 2022 Bowman. Marlins. Right there. Off camera. But. Okay. Here we go. Jose Ramos. I apologize. The lighting is always um, terrible. Um, when I do these videos, because I just don't have lighting over here, I suppose I could theoretically move some lighting over here, but I don't know, there's some lighting I can sort of shine over here. Let's see here. Oh, that helped a fair bit, so all right. try to do what we can with that. Um, Jose Ramos was my one uh, bo uh, autograph, uh, 22, 22 Bowman. I think I looked him up and kind of was not thinking 
Frank and he was very good, but Dodgers fans will tell me if I'm wrong about that. Okay, Darren Baker, first Bowman. Blue, um, I forget what they call this kind of uh, prism. It's like a new one in the last couple of years. But, uh, anyways, he's with the Nationals. Cabrian Hayes, I found a few decent Cabrian Hayes cards. Um, when I was going through the Pirates recently, I forget what I was, if that was for a request for Pirates cards, or if I, I think I was just looking for a particular player, but I can't remember who, who, who that was. So I'm just thinking we're going to see some other stuff. And, um, Jordan Walker is uh, a really, really good prospect, uh, offensive prospect that uh, people have been pretty high on for the last couple of years, and um, I believe this is out of 2020 Bowman. Now it looks like Bowman Draft. Um, so, uh, nice card. It's a refractor. But really, the only decent card I have of him, I have maybe one, a base card or two. Trey Lance, football card. Probably have, nope, just one football card. Okay, um, so I recently, actually before the video I did last where I was going through Cardinals cards, um, for our friend Matthew to put together a lot, I think I went through Cardinals cards, uh, or prospect cards, like, I don't know, like a couple of, like, maybe three or four weeks ago, or for some reason, I can't remember who I was looking for. Might have been Jordan Walker, but, um, anyways, found this Jack Flaherty, which is a nice, um, pretty nice condition, well-centered, um, refractor of his first Bowman, so I pulled that out, put it in the box. Same thing here, Tyler O'Neill, um, refractor, rookie again, he's struggling, but uh, if he pulls it together, the refractor tops chrome rookie card of a player is a pretty nice one to have, so pull that out. Clayton Kershaw, you're wondering why this base card is in here, but this is an action uh, photo variation. You can see action on the back there, right above his photo on the back. So that's why that, that one is in this box. Trey Sweeney, another 2022 Bowman. Uh, this was the first year he was in Bowman. Or the first set he was in in Bowman. Or the first Bowman set he was ever in. It was 22, 22 Bowman, so that's the first chance to get this guy. And he's, you know, relatively well respected. Prospect, so this is number 2150. Um, nice hit for a Yankee fan such as myself. And just a paper base there. And uh, let's see, a first Bowman number 2499, just a refractor. Samad Taylor. Uh, 302nd overall pick. Not a high draft pick, but it's a refractor. Or, uh, yeah, refractor. So, Water Franco, base boy. This is a card that's not worth anything now, but. You know, he's got a lot of talent, so he could be like, you know, kind of how, I don't know, Shoyatani kind of, you know, fell out of hobby graces for a minute after his uh, rookie of the year season, only to come back with bells on. Spencer Torkelson is another guy who, you know, was like, was he like the number one or two or three pick or something like that? And, um, yeah, just totally fast fizzled in the major leagues, but, uh, it's got a lot of talent, so it could go on a run. And this is uh, number 225. Eduardo Lopez, cracked ice. First Bowman. And a Khalil Watson, um, Mojo Refractor. These are always nice to have. Uh, of the first Bowman cards of anybody who does well. Cards. 
Thank you, Brian Hayes. Um, 2017 Bowman Mini. Uh, gold and parallel. Number 25. Is that gold or is that orange? I think it's orange and gold. It'd be like 50. So that's a really nice card. You can, you know, get it together. Um, O'Neill Cruz. Kind of broke out this year. A lot of people are still pretty, pretty high on him. I dug this out of my Pirates, um, and rookies collection and uh, didn't even know I had it in there but uh, glad I pulled that out and just some more kind of Cabrian A stuff refractor yellow paper numbered uh, O'Neill Cruz purple to 250 and then um, Shane Baz is a really good pitcher Jazz Chisholm, you know, another really solid season this year, and that is a rookie card, and an auto, it's a sticker auto, so some insert out of 2021 tops. Um, some parallels of Jazz Chisholm, that's a 2018 refractor. Chuck 
2018 Alan Ginter that, you know, has got some attention because of his involvement with the hobby. So I looked that one up and it's going for like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks, I think. All right, here's an Austin Riley Atomic Rookie Card Bowman's Pass. Very cool card right there. This one I pulled out of a box. When was that? A couple years ago. Uh, 2019, more than a couple of years ago. Um, and, you know, he had an MVP caliber season this year, so I pulled this out. Uh, and I don't know why it ended up in this box. I'm going through, but it did. So probably should have sold that in the height of his uh, season, but... Oh well, so he's a Cardinal now. Put that with the Cardinals. Bowman Chrome. Rookie card. Austin Riley. Top Chrome. Rookie card. Austin Riley. This one this card was worth like a lot, like a hundred bucks. Not too long ago. This actually looks really nicely centered too. I probably should have found this and done something with it, but I didn't. So now it's kind of worth way less, but fun card to have. Alan and Ginter has some kind of crazy non sports, you know, subjects in their cards. This is that um, card I pulled out of a cello box of NBA Hoops Premium, Joel Embiid, number to like 10, I think. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool card right there. This is a um, Nick Kyrgios. One of one um, from Leaf something or other. Grand Slam Tennis. I pulled this uh, back in 2018 when this stuff was out. I'm a big tennis fan, and uh, actually I really like Nick Kyrgios these days. Back then I hated him. But I think he's matured a little bit, a tiny bit. <laughs> and uh, more importantly, his game has evolved, so he's... Uh, having much better results in the last year, which I think, um, you know, makes him, his antics on the court a little more tolerable. Kind of like John, John McEnroe, I guess. Um, Steph Curry. That's a low number, number to 49. Pull that out of 20, what was that, 2021? No, 2020 select. I think I opened a hybrid box of that stuff. I think I have a hybrid box of it somewhere. All right, here we go. Anthony Volpe, uh, Prism Draft. Not numbered, but it's a refractor. So Raphael Devers, uh, this is from Chronicles, number 299. Chris Bosch card, I got a assembly back thing. Adley Rutschman had a pretty good, pretty good season, and uh, I think people are pretty bullish on him still. Orioles. Our first Oriole, some more Adleys. There and there. What year was this from? Did he get traded? I feel like I remember. 
remember seeing he got traded and thinking, oh man, I can't believe they traded that guy because he was such a, um, you know, hometown favorite. So if he's traded, my condolences to you, uh, Royals fans. I'm going to put with the Royals for now because I have no idea who he got traded to if he got traded. Uh, All right, Justin Smoke, one of one. Totally uh, worthless. I think this guy's like retired or something. <laughs> not catching for the Blue Jays, I know that. I think we're going to get probably a bunch of non-baseball right here, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of pull these out without much comment. Okay, only two things. Alright, there is Altuve. He's it's very shocking. He's uh, really struggling in the postseason, and uh, I think he finally got a hit tonight um, against the Yankees. Uh, game four or game three, sorry, of the Yankee series tonight. And this will probably not get posted until, yeah, this will not be posted until tomorrow when game five will be playing. Um, all right, this is uh, going with the Astros. <sighs>
Corey Seager also not with the Dodgers. Who is he with the man? Who is he with? Alright, gotta pull him out too. All these guys, I don't I can't remember they got traded to. Or signed by um, Mike Trout. Dominators number two, nine ninety nine. Kind of a crazy number, but um, it is what it is. Um, some football and basketball cards. Go through those real quick. There's another numbered Brian. Tommy B. Cooper Cup rookie right there. And the card we were all looking for back in uh, the release days of 2022 Tops Series 1. Um, there we go. More basketball. second uh, row here of this shoebox that I'm pulling these from. Okay, we got some kind of Pokemon thing. Football. And this card, I remember pulling this, and this one is really nicely uh, centered left to right, top to bottom. It's maybe a little bit off, but this one I might consider sending in if I can look it up in like PSA 9s or selling for more than the cost of grading, which I guess would be 18 bucks. But, uh, yeah. Cool card, especially now. He's having a heck of a season. Bogarts. Isn't he like a free agent this year? Some more football, basketball. I'll take a Luis Garcia. I don't know what he's doing these days, but he was a decent prospect. And I don't think he's come up with the Phillies yet. Or if he's on the Philly still, but yeah, this one's numbered to 50. I think it's, I don't know if it's a colored parallel or what, but pretty low numbers. We'll put him with the Phillies for now. And then there's a purple I got of him. So back in 2019, when I priced these, probably, uh, you know, this was a $40 card and I don't know what it's worth now, but Christian Yelich, numbered to 250. Tim Anderson had a real off year, I think, this year, but he's, you know, kind of continually a leader for the, uh, um, you know, hitting championship, the, you know, highest average, batting average. So, real good player there. I know I have a, I believe it's um, Elijah who has a, or no, Elias, who am I? <laughs> I think it's Elias um, who has requested a uh, White Sox, um, you know, group lot uh, video like, like I've been doing for other teams. So I know I've got that on my list, and maybe that Tim Anderson will be a good one for that. Um, Willie Thomas, uh, so he, he's with the Brewers now, I believe. This is with the Rays, um, but that's number 50. So uh, I'm going to put him with the Brewers. All right, Gooseman. I don't know who the heck this guy plays for, or if he's still playing. But pull him out on the side here. All right, who is this lady, Michaela? Michaela Meyer. And, uh, I don't know. I think this is like some kind of parallel that's relatively rare, and that's why I got pulled out. All right, more football. There's Anna Kornikova, everybody's favorite uh, tennis player from like the 2000s. Andy Murray, number to 15, never to love. These tennis cards are pretty sweet if you're me because I'm a huge tennis fan. I you know, recognize most of these players. Um, not really worth anything, but fun to have if you're a tennis nut like myself. Michael Chang, number to three. I mean, that's, that's a cool card, right? No value, but a cool card. Go fan. Football. There's a Soto. Now he's with the Padres, so I'll put him with the Padres. Hit a home run tonight. Finally got a home run in the postseason. Garrett um, Crotchet. I'm not sure if he's still with Chicago. I believe that the White Sox, yeah, he's got a White Sox jersey on, so I'm going to put him with the White Sox and hope for the best. Tatis. Padres. Soto. Padres. Looks so weird with that little mustache. Acuna, rookie, or uh, first 
bauen. Football, football, football. Brady Singer Royals. More Alabama. More football. This is a kind of rookie reprint uh, out of archives, and it's numbered to 150. I'm not sure what you'd call the name of the parallel, but kind of a neat card it is. It's numbered, but probably not terribly expensive. Um, I will put him with the Mariners, since he's depicted with the Mariners on this card, although he did play for a number of teams. Um, all right, there's Bo Bichette, Blue Jays, Griffey. Spencer Torkelson, not doing well. <laughs> and that's uh, just a base, paper base, uh, first Bowman. So, football, football. All right, Christian Cuffs. Rockies. Tyler Dyson. start game now he went like five um i don't know <laughs> i remember the rain out game like he was supposed to basically be the second guy after um tyone for the yankees trying to do kind of like a quasi bullpen game you know with the collection of starters and relievers um, but that game got rained out and so then that's when i think uh, cortez started and he went five and then they just sort of used the normal bullpen guys so i don't i don't i think he might not have pitched at all in the postseason which is kind of crazy because you know he's pretty pretty solid pitcher kind of struggled the last um you know few outings of the season so maybe that's why but uh all right riley ben and bay Sox. i don't know what the heck team why don't they say like who a guy's drafted by um, on these minor league cards. All right, uh, Suli Matias. Autograph card right there. Um, yes, don't know who he plays with either. All right, Lou Bob, White Sox. It's not really. 
probably worth enough to bother, but I don't know, I think at some point I put all of my Acunas and all my Sotos in this box, so here we are, Kiani Cavaco twins. Not sure what he's up to, but I remember in 2019 when that stuff came out, he was pretty pretty well-respected prospect. Guest in here, okay, I'm taking that out, this guy's stuff, oh my god, I have like PSA 10 rookies of that guy that are worth like negative $5. Um, Corelvis, yeah, I mean, this is pretty iffy to be in here, too. I'm going to take that out. Marco can certainly stay. Um, Giants, it's our first Giants card here. Here's a timely card here, Yoder, or Jordan Alvarez, uh, rookie card, having a real nice postseason, although he has not really done much against the Yankees. Um, Blade Marlins. C.J. Abrams. I think somebody mentioned he was with the Nationals now, so I'll choose to believe that. Shane Bieber, uh, rookie card out of 2018 Tops Update. Indians. Josh Jung, this is probably not worth anything, but what the hell? I'll, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up, folks. Um, Bo Jackson.
just come, you know, some pretty low value, but flagship rookies, you know, why not keep them? Gold, Marcelo Zuna, oh man, I don't know who he's playing for these days, I'm pretty sure it's not the Cardinals. Um, so I'm going to figure that out. File him away later. Yadier Gold. Cardinals. Madrigal. Um, these next few cards are, um, are uh, Sapphires. Alex Kirloff, Twin. Uh, Miguel Vargas. Trouts. I'm gonna take these out too. Those aren't really worth anything unless they're graded well. Riley Green, Sapphire Tigers. Alright, we've got a lot of cards here. In fact, I have like a whole other box. I think what I'm gonna do is um, actually do this stack I have in my hand here and then I call it quits and then do the rest in a second video. So Sam Huff, you know, once upon a time was a decent prospect. These are mojos. I'm fairly positive these aren't worth anything, um, but I'll take them out just because they're mojos. Mauricio Paper, that's gotta go. That's not worth anything. Same with the rest of these guys. Casas, um, Chrome, I don't know, he could go nuts. Um, yeah, flagship Robles. I think I'm pulling that out of this Soto refractor. Probably should not be included in this, but I'm going to anyways. Um, put them in the Padres and then some just various Acunas. Seager again, I'm not sure. I can't remember who he's playing with. Um, go back White Sox, 150th anniversary parallel. Acuna, 2017 Bowman Defining Moments. Soto, get all these um, Robleses out of here. So, JJ Blade, um, Marlins, and that's numbered to 99. Theoretically, some value there. Davy Garcia, I think I'm going to pull him out of this group. Madrigal Paper, pull him out. Lots of basketball, basketball, hockey, football. Alright, Brent Davis. Boy, I haven't heard much of him lately. I'm not sure what he's doing, but I think he's still working his way through the minors. I'm not gonna include him, nor am I gonna include anybody but Boehm out of this group here. Alright, so there you have it. Um, there's a bunch of cards sorted. I am gonna do a part two and um, sort the rest of these, but I think I'm gonna get some rest right now because it's pretty late. And uh, this video is one of my longer videos uh, since I've been doing daily videos because I just don't have time to do long videos when I'm cranking them out, but uh, it's the weekend, I have a little more time, so hopefully you all will enjoy a, a longer video here for the first time in a bit. Okay, well, thanks everybody, we'll catch y'all later, have a great one, bye now.